Hey everybody, welcome to Reading the Bible to Cats. Esther and Henry are cuddling. That's really cute. So we'll read one more psalm, and then I'm going to start Ephesians 1. I think that'll be my next video. But I just picked a number off the top of my head, and it's Psalm 89. So let's see what it says. I will sing of the Lord's great love forever. With my mouth I will make your faithfulness known through all generations. I will declare that your love stands firm forever, that you have established your faithfulness in heaven itself. You said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. I will establish your line forever and make your throne firm through all generations. The heavens praise your wonders, Lord, your faithfulness too in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies above can compare with the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the heavenly beings? In the council of the holy ones, God is greatly feared. He is more awesome than all who surround him. Who is like you, Lord God Almighty? You, Lord, are mighty, and your faithfulness surrounds you. You rule over the surging sea. When its waves mount up, you still them. You crushed Rahab like one of the slain. With your strong arm, you scattered your enemies. The heavens are yours and yours also the earth. You founded the world and all that is in it. You created the north and the south. Avar and Hermon sing for joy at your name. Your arm is endowed with power. Your hand is strong, your right hand exalted. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Love and faithfulness go before you. Blessed are those who have learned to acclaim you, who walk in the light of your presence, Lord. They rejoice in your name all day long. They celebrate your righteousness, for you are their glory and strength, and by your favor you exalt our horn. Indeed, our shield belongs to the Lord, our King, to the Holy One of Israel. Once you spoke in a vision to your faithful people, you said, I have bestowed strength on a warrior. I have raised up a young man from among the people. I have found David, my servant. With my sacred oil, I have anointed him. My hand will sustain him. Surely my arm will strengthen him. The enemy will not get the better of him. The wicked will not oppress him. I will crush his foes before him and strike down his adversaries. My faithful love will be with him, and through my name his horn will be exalted. I will set his hand over the sea, his right hand over the rivers. He will call out to me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. And I will appoint him to be my firstborn, the most exalted of the kings of the earth. I will maintain my love to him forever, and my covenant with him will never fail. I will establish his line forever, his throne as long as the heavens endure. If his sons forsake my law and do not follow my statutes, if they violate, violate my decrees and fail to keep my commands, I will punish their sin with the rod, their iniquity with flogging. But I will not take my love from him nor will I ever betray my faithfulness. I will not violate my covenant or alter what my lips have uttered. Once for all, I have sworn by my holiness, and I will not lie to David, that his line will continue forever, and his throne endure before me like the sun. It will be established forever like the moon, the faithful witness in the sky. But you have rejected, you have spurned, you have been very angry with your anointed one. 
You have renounced the covenant with your servant and have defiled his crown in the dust. You have broken through all his walls and reduced his strongholds to ruins. All who pass by have plundered him. He has become the scorn of his neighbors. You have exalted the right hand of his foes. You have made all his enemies rejoice. Indeed, you have turned back the edge of his sword and have not supported him in battle. You have put an end to his splendor and cast his throne to the ground. You have cut short the days of his youth. You have covered him with a mantle of shame. How long, Lord? Will you hide yourself forever? How long will your wrath burn like fire? Remember how fleeting is my life. For what futility you have created all humanity. Who can live and not see death? Or who can escape the power of the grave? Lord, where is your former great love, which in your faithfulness you swore to David? Remember, Lord, how your servant has been mocked, how I bear in my heart the taunts of all the nations. The taunts with which your your enemies, Lord, have mocked, with which they have mocked every step of your anointed one. Praise be to the Lord forever. Amen and amen. Okay, that's the end of Psalm 89. And it starts out, you know, with, with a lot of praise. And then, you know, in the promises of God and then, and then towards the end, it's this, you know, call, this uh, prayer, really. Um, and it, it sounds like it's really the story of, of Israel. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry, everyone, my, the kitties are snoring, but you can't hear them snoring. Um. Well, oh, Esther's twitching. I'll say a little prayer. Lord, um, this was a beautiful psalm, and we do praise your name, and we do also ask how long. Um, how long, Lord, will you hide yourself forever? How long will your wrath burn like fire? Remember how fleeting is my life, for what futility you have created all humanity. Who can live and not see death, or who can escape the power of the grave? The psalmist speaks honestly, Lord, and cries out to you, and and we also cry out to you and ask you to um, make things right. And we look forward to just your unfailing love. Lord, I um, I just pray for everyone listening and watching that you bless them in a special way today or this evening. Um, I just pray you comfort them. We live in a troubled world. And I pray that you bring them joy, love, and peace and all the beautiful uh, features of your spirit. And I, this is, uh, what is today? Tuesday, and I'll post this on Sunday. I just pray for peace, the peace of Israel and the peace of Jerusalem. And just lift up your name and thank you, Lord, for life. Thank you for Jesus. And I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, everybody, look. Somebody's cute. Somebody's cute. Very cute. Um, okay, well, we'll start Ephesians next, and I'm really, 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 really looking forward to that. Okay, bye.